Hello again, I'm Kane Ma. Often in the context of Scrum, you may hear about XP or extreme programming. Today I'd like to talk about Scrum and extreme programming and how they relate to each other. The Scrum framework defines roles and events without defining explicit technical guidance on how to build products. In a move to include technical processes, Kent Beck and Ward Cunningham modified the Scrum framework by adding explicit technical processes such as continuous integration, test-driven development, and peer programming. This modified framework became the basis of extreme programming. Ken Beck and Ward Cunningham were not the only ones to take this approach. Ken Schwaber, one of the co-creators of Scrum, created his own personal approach, which he called XP at Scrum. And Mike Beadle, Ken's co-author on Agile Software Development with Scrum, created a separate approach called XBreed. Simplicity has always been one of Scrum's strengths, and it was decided that technical processes should remain outside of the Scrum framework. This effectively divided Scrum and Extreme Programming into two separate camps. How does Scrum and XP differ? Both frameworks place a different emphasis on process. Allow me to demonstrate. Commonly, Scrum is described by the Scrum roles, events or meetings, and the artifacts. The diagram you see here is one of the more common diagrams that summarizes the Scrum process and was taken from Ken Traber's first book. Extreme programming focuses on the technical aspects of product development. The technical practices can be grouped under common attributes, including feedback, continuous process, shared understanding, and programmer welfare. This diagram was created by Ron Jeffries and illustrates the frequency of relative practices and their relationship to each other. For example, technical practices towards the center, indicated by the blue circle, are undertaken multiple times per day. Technical practices, indicated by the green circle, may only be undertaken once a day. Note the overlap of the two diagrams. Here, the common processes between Scrum and XP become self-evident. Scrum focuses outwards on the big picture themes, cultural and systemic change, while extreme programming focuses inwards on the engineering themes. One common assumption is that Scrum is considered to be a project management approach, whereas XP is considered to be a combination of both project management and technical processes. This is an oversimplification of the true nature of the respective frameworks. Despite the differences, there is a natural attraction between the two. Most high-performing teams naturally use both Scrum and Extreme Programming together. An example of this is Extreme Programming's practice of continuous integration. Without continuous integration, it quickly becomes impossible to produce an increment of potentially shippable product at the end of every single sprint. Scrum doesn't explicitly mandate how a team should build the product, but it will drive the team towards adopting the extreme programming technical practices after just a few sprints. Combining Scrum and extreme programming is a powerful way to take teams to the next level.